Hey, what's up guys? This is Timo here. Welcome back to another episode of playing Gemstone Legends. Now, it's been a while since I've done a video, but what I wanted to do today is to go back to some of the features uh, that I used to make for different units, right? So I'll do, I'll talk about a unit. And the last few uh, episodes about the units have been centered around legendary heroes. And I wanted to go back to some of the rare heroes that are really strong and are really good for you to focus on. And so today I wanted to talk about uh, this particular one, and that's going to be a blue rare hero, and that is Inula, right? So what I want to do is I want to talk about how I have equipped Inula, and also the reason why she is really good, and I'm going to show you how we're going to use her. So Inula is a rare hero, as I mentioned. She is a warden type, but what's uh, the most interesting about her ability is that she inflicts sleep on all enemies, for three turns, if you can max her level, which is just a uh, two level, um, it's just two levels to the skill, really easy to max out. And the reason why this is good is because sleep is a uh, status that, and basically, like if you don't hit them, they will not wake up. Uh, they do, the, you know, there is a turn, so after three turns, they will wake up from it. But you could keep putting them to in a sleep state unless they have resistance. And so uh, her passive ability also makes her um really uh, high in resistance so it's hard to debuff her and she has a mana gain to her 24 uh, base mana so that means if you max out her skills she's automatically going to have 25 mana gain so that means every four gem matches she's going to be able to cast her spell so she can actually cast her spell really often and so you want to focus on her speed so the way to play inula is to focus on her speed so you can see what i have right now is i have her speed at 326. her awakening is focused on accuracy so at level uh, three stars six stars she will gain 25 percent accuracy each so you can get 50 additional accuracy on her to make sure that you can land her sleep even easier against your opponents and so what you want to do is you want to focus on her speed, you want to focus on her accuracy, and then you want to make sure that she can survive. And so what you'll see here is I actually have put on a vampire set on her, which gives her a 35% recovery of damage dealt for every, um, for her, uh, you know, damage, whatever damage it is, whether it's active skill or gem, uh, gem match damage. Now, her skill doesn't actually damage the opponents, but I thought I wanted to try and see how well I can get her to recover her own health um, once she uh, she attacks. Her health is at 31,000 uh, with 2,100 defense. So uh, I could do a little bit more on the defense side so that it's closer to a 10 to 1 ratio of uh, health to defense. But I think uh, so far from what I've seen, she's doing okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into arena and I guess we're going to just jump into a fight here. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, try something here. So I'm going to go ahead and say I'm actually going to take away um, Martin and I'm going to put an in Inula here. So what we're going to do is a combination of uh, street box sigil is going to give me mana and also speed. Kidioko and Lurkar are going to be my main uh, damage dealers, and Inula is going to be the one that is going to be doing uh, mostly the uh, sleeping, uh, you know, the debuff, right? Crowd control, essentially. And so uh, a leader like Streetbog is going to be really useful for Inula because of the speed buff. And let's see. We will use Har on the Dragon, and let's go for it. So. We do have our, uh, we, we are faster, which is good, right? And so what we're going to do is we're just going to go and make sure that we can get uh, Inula's skill going as quick as possible. And that is going to be done through this, okay? And so what we're going to do is we're going to go and everyone is essentially asleep now so what you can do is you can basically ignore them and you don't want to attack them instead just focus on attacking uh the uh the heroes that is awake or isn't uh you know who doesn't have a turn yet okay and what you can do is just keep trying to put them to sleep and uh, in this case it looks like a uh, dagda is just not uh being put under a spell but that's okay we're just gonna go ahead and focus on uh you know, putting more damage on him. And Kitty Yoko is really good with her spell because she can do, uh, she can cast, because she can cast, uh, 
Assassin's Mark, we can, which actually deals a lot of uh, damage to the opponents, right? And so let's see. Now, I don't know if by having, um, if by having the Soul Link on Dagda is going to wake up Nefri, but she doesn't have a turn after this anyway. So let's go ahead and uh, just go and uh, do this. Uh, so I accidentally woke up uh, <laughs> Valentina because I didn't actually uh, focus fire down on on Dagda, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and take out uh, Dagda at this point anyways. I think what I'm going to do is, this will be nice because I could probably also uh, get a nice damage on Nefre just by doing this. And so what we're gonna do is we're also going to, um, so what you wanna do is you wanna wait until they are they are all awake before you use your dragon, okay? And you wanna make sure you use, dra use your dragon before you use Enola because as soon as you use dragon, they're all going to get 20, uh, 200 damage and they're going to wake up from it. So the key thing here is use your dragon before you use your Enola. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and do this. One, two, three. We're going to take out Dagda at this point because of the, uh, because of the, um, Assassin's Mark. And then what we're going to do is we're going to prevent them to heal. And you can see here now, um, Premislav has woken up from his slumber. So we're going to go ahead and put him to sleep again. And now Premislav is the one that's resisted. And so we're gonna go ahead and uh, take him out. So uh, actually, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get Inula's skill to go, but that's okay. We're going to skip, skip. This is the power of Inula. You're basically doing uh, crowd control right now, and you're going to just essentially uh, put your opponent to sleep constantly and if you can add a sleep in there that will be even better and so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, use skill on her valentina is going to come back to life she actually is uh she actually has a pretty uh, i guess her skill is pretty high because her health is almost uh full when she comes back to life but what we're going to do is we're just going to continue to put them to sleep okay and and now uh what we can do is we can decide who do we want to attack? And in this case, if you take a look at to see who is coming up next, you can see Nefre and uh, Zarkon are next. So we're going to focus on uh, Valentina because even if she wakes up, she's not going to be able to do anything on her turn. And so we're going to go ahead and um, do one, two, three. And so with all of the assassin's mark on her, she is going to uh, get dealt quite a bit of damage there. And so again, we're going to go ahead and just wait until I can put uh, put him into slumber. Okay, and I guess I guess I probably will not be able to. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to focus fire on Neff right here. We'll go ahead and do one more round of a dragon. And I did manage to uh, get Inula skill, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just, I, I, I think I could, I should have waited just one more turn so that what you will do is you'll stay asleep and then he'll wake up and I can put him back to sleep. But you can see here that uh, Inula's skill is back up again. This is the power of having such a, um, you know, such a high, or I guess, having such a high mana gain allows her to really um, to really go really fast. And so you can see here, my opponent essentially never attacked this entire turn. And so using Inula here really is a, you know, um, as long as you can build her for speed, you can really do some good damage here without worrying about, you know, bringing in a tank or anything. You, if you, as long as you have heroes that can do, um, you know, damage really well, you'll be able to defeat your opponents there. So this is the secret of Inula here. Now there's other heroes that can do similar things like, you know, with area stun, uh, etc. But Inula for a rare hero, uh, she is really powerful. If you didn't think that uh, she was good before, like I didn't really think she was that useful, uh, she really is, okay? And so what I recommend is, you know, play around with using Inula you know, this should help you in a lot of your fights. Take a look and uh, let me know what you think. The thing to focus on is going to be her speed, her accuracy, 
and then focus on her survivability in case she does get attacked but as long as she can get uh, if you can pair her up with somebody that gives you speed and you have synergy with the blue gems you should be uh, good to go so that's going to be it for me for today guys let me know what you think and uh, i will uh, see you in the next episode all right take care bye now